China showcases its new hydrogen fueled train. Duke Energy completes a 51 megawatt wind farm in Colorado. And the DOE grants supercomputers for research. This is your Daily Energy Report. For Wednesday, December the 1st, I'm Ben Lack and I'll be bringing you top stories coming from the energy sector. Did you know that China is working to improve their mass transit programs? They're building an Asia-Europe rail network and expanding their national high spill rail lines. Now, the Chinese have unveiled a fuel cell light rail locomotive for local transportation. The locomotive is powered by a permanent magnet motor and hydrogen fuel cells. Both work together to run a synchronous motor and frequency converter. This permits the train to produce and use power more efficiently, reducing energy use by up to 20%. Duke Energy has completed its Colorado wind farm, giving the company nearly 1,000 megawatts of wind generation capacity at its nine wind farms in the U.S. The farm has 34 General Electric turbines that are 1.5 megawatts each. The entire 6,000-acre farm is in Burlington, Colorado, and can generate 51 megawatts of electricity. The project dubbed the Kit Carson Wind Power Project is the second commercial wind project Duke Energy has brought to fruition this year. Their other project, the World Wind Power Project near Casper, Wyoming, began operations in October. And finally, the DOE has granted the largest amount of supercomputing time in history to 57 research projects that will use the computer simulations for virtual experiments. The innovative projects involve ideas that would not be testable in the natural world. The two supercomputers that the projects will use will have a computational capacity equal to 135,000 quad-core laptops. Such research is expected to deliver more efficient solar cells, improved biofuel production, and other solutions. Companies such as GE and aircraft producer Boeing have partnered with the projects to use the computers to develop stronger wind turbines and jet engines. Have thoughts or comments about today's show? Then please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for tuning in and check us out tomorrow for your latest Daily Energy Report. Have a great day.